Oh, hi. Welcome. So you're probably wondering, hey, Siv, is this your first time showing your face? No. So sorry to disappoint you, but you missed out on the hype. That video should be here, something like that, and uh, you can check that out if you want. Also, I am very sorry for the audio quality. I don't have a webcam or anything. I'm doing this on my iPad, so uh, go me. Many of you saw Rex's video where he showed off his setup for making videos and everything, and First of all, I can't believe he does all of that on a laptop because I could not do that. And secondly, I wanted to do it too. So here's the video. I put out a poll on YouTube. You guys decided between a one year recap and a setup tour, but you wanted the setup tour. I may end up doing both just like Rec did, so we'll see. But for today, here's the setup tour. The first thing you guys may notice is that all of my setup is over on this side of the room because apparently colleges won't let you have all your stuff throughout the room. So like this is a double room and I don't have a roommate because my roommate left after the last semester. So I've got the whole room to myself, but apparently I can't use this half of the room, even though, you know, I kind of still have a couple things here and there, but that's a stupid rule and you should change it. So first things first, everything's gotta go. Poof, it's magic. So the first thing we've got is actually a power strip right here. I do not want to have to get back there, so I'm just not going to unplug it, but it's plugged in right back there. And this is right here. It's got like six different things. Easy, you can put that on and a blue light should come on. There we go. And now we've got enough strips for all of our things to plug in. Next up, we got my PC tower. This thing is pretty much uh, a lifesaver. Like seriously, I could not have done all this YouTube with that, without this. Before I was on a laptop and it was disgusting, please. Don't make Minecraft videos on a laptop. Unless you're Wreck, apparently. But anyway, big shout out to Lucid. He actually helped me make this PC, so let's put this thing right down here by my feet. Next up are the monitors, and I've got two of them, which is very nice, especially when you're editing videos. So if you're ever wanting to go into video editing, make sure you have two monitors. All right, let's just adjust these a little bit. That looks pretty good to me. I usually have them at like a, I don't know, what is that, 125 degree angle? Whatever, I failed math. Next up, we've got the mouse pad. Now, I believe Rex said he doesn't have a mouse pad, but I've got the best mouse pad in existence. Look at this thing. That's amazing. My mom gave it to me. I love you, mom. Aww. And also, this is my banner design. If you guys were wondering where this banner design came from, this like tribal design was designed by my friend Noah, and then the A Civilian was actually made by Zoclus, which is one of my fans. Hey, buddy, shout out. But anyway, yeah, this thing is awesome. So uh, let's just put it here. Perfectly fits the desk. Mom, you're a lifesaver. Next is the keyboard. I just got a basic keyboard. It's pretty nice. It has these little things, of course, I can do like this if I want it to be a little more propped up. And uh, it does light up when it's plugged in. That, all that RGB stuff, gamers, I'm a gamer. But I always make sure to wrap my cords like around the back here because I hate when they get in the way and I have so many cords. So cord management, cord management. Say it with me, kids, cord management. Another good one, we got this mouse. This is a gaming mouse. I think it's a Red Dragon gaming mouse. Uh, it's from my sister and my uh, brother-in-law who gave this to me for Christmas again. So Christmas time is apparently the best time to get stuff for your YouTube setup. I don't know. Cord management. Oh, and I forgot to do this one. So we're just gonna take this cord and we're gonna plug it in right here. And then this side of it's gonna go in here. And that's the main power cord for the PC. And there we go, should be plugged in. And I can flip this on and everything should be good to go. Click that baby on. Everything should start to come on. You can see about our keyboard in a sec. The mouse should start lighting up. Come on, boys. Let's go. There we go. Look at him. Look at him go. Got a couple more things to do right down here before we go back up to the top. And uh, we need to plug these things in. These are actually, these are PCI ports right here. And these are what, like, you plug in your uh, it, your graphics card into. But I have an extra one here that uh, allows for Wi-Fi access because I've had trouble with Wi-Fi in the past. Um, but these little things, uh, they add just a little bit of boost so we can get more range in our Wi-Fi. And it's also a backup in case the one on the motherboard fails. This one right here actually goes in these two, and that's directly on the motherboard. There we go. They're plugged in. We can pop this little sticky thing up top, and that'll give us some good Wi-Fi. Two more things, we've got a speaker here, just in case I need to plug that into my microphone so I don't have headphones on. Usually I just play with headphones on, um, but we've got a speaker in case we need it. And also, we've got a small little hard drive right here. I think it's like 
256 gigabytes. No, it's 500. 500 gigabytes. This little thing. Look how thin that is. But yeah, USB-C works great. I recommend it. Okay, I'm just going to use all these uh, jumbled cores to plug in my monitors, but there is only one thing I need to explain about that. I'm just going to leave the rest up to your imagination. The one on the left I usually have on DisplayPort, which runs at a higher FPS and everything, higher quality. And the one over here I run on just an HDMI cable. So that's a little less quality, but I play on this one and then I record from this one. And I also do video editing on pretty much both, usually on this one though. We can turn these puppies on now. And yeah, they're pretty much just basic monitors. They're Acer, they're like hundred bucks. I don't know, cheap. Hey, stop trying to steal my password. Now comes the part everyone's been waiting for. The cardboard box. So uh, this baby, I'll explain. So I have a microphone stand, okay? I have a microphone stand. Trust me, I do, and it's great. But I left it with my parents, and my parents are actually traveling right now. So it's with them over in Texas or something. I don't know where they are right now. They never tell me anyway. But basically, it's just I haven't had a chance to get it from them back yet. So I cut out a hole in this cardboard box, and I use it just like this, and I stick my microphone in here, and I can have the uh, cables coming out the bottom there, and then my headphones come out this little hole right here. It works great. And here's the mic. Yes, I've got a tiny baby sock on it, because priorities. So this is a Rode NT1A. That's what I use, and I think also Sayla uses it, and maybe somebody else on EchoCraft. I'm not sure who uses it. But it's a great microphone, great for podcasts and recording and anything like that. And this is a shock mount, if you don't know what that is. Usually this would just screw right into my uh, microphone stand, but since I don't have it, we just... Boom. Ingenuity. Last thing to mention is this. This is an audio interface. Um, normally people would have it like on their desk, but this one just plugs straight into the bottom of the microphone. And it has mic gain, volume, monitor level, even has phantom power, which is awesome. Um, so, and this is a compressor microphone. If you guys don't know, compressor microphones need phantom power to run, unlike dynamic microphones. So yeah, this baby just plugs right in. OBS captures it great. And uh, we just plug this right into the bottom of the microphone, like I said. And uh, boom, there you go. Now we're ready to record. And if you guys are curious, these are just Audio-Technica um, recording headphones. Like they're like studio recording headphones, I think. A lot of people use them on like podcasts and stuff like that, but they work great. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and the uh, mustachied man on my shirt. It was really fun to record this and I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, do make sure to leave a like. It is always very much appreciated. And if you did really enjoy then make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're wondering why I'm kind of looking off to the side, it's because the camera's over here and my face is over here and I'm looking at my face and it's a really bad habit, so I need to look over here. Hi. Thank you all very much again for watching and I will catch you later. <coughs> well, that's going in a blooper. First thing you gotta have is the $100 bill mug because I'm keeping it 100. Is that what the kids say? I, I don't really know. Man, I'm such a boomer. You the boss, the king the shah. Say what you wish, it's yours, true wish. How about a little more like love?